to another episode of Saturday Night Horror. Now tonight I'm excited because we're going to be watching a movie I've never seen before. Tonight we're going to be watching The Redwood Massacre. Now this movie was released in 2014 and I don't know everything, I don't know everything that goes on in this movie. As I said, I haven't seen it before. But from what I read, it's a group of friends who go camping and visit a site of these uh, legendary murders that no one really believes. It turns out legends are true. Um, they end up getting stalked by a man in what looks like a scarecrow, uh, scarecrow hood over his head. I don't know how to describe it, but it looks promising. So I'm definitely excited about watching that. Um, we're not gonna waste any time. We're going to go in the kitchen, get something to eat real quick, and then we're going out in the front room. We're gonna watch the Redwood Massacre. So I can't wait. All right, everyone. Here's dinner. Uh, two pieces of string cheese. That's it. All right, we're out in the living room with our cheese. All we have to do is turn off this last light. There we go. All the lights in the house are off, and we're ready to watch our movie, The Redwood Massacre. So I'm definitely excited about watching this. Um, I'll talk to you when it's over. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, for only the second time in the history of Saturday Night Horror, I turned the movie off and did not finish watching it. This movie was bad. It, one of the worst I've seen, and like I said, I didn't even finish it. I just turned it off and discussed it was that bad. First of all... Let me just say this, man. Usually when something... I mean, th this didn't just suck ass. This was the Hershey Squirts bad. This was... <laughs> this was the absolute drizzling shits. This movie was bad. The effort... Let's talk about the acting. The acting, you know, it, it doesn't even deserve the, the Saturday Night Horror hat. It, it doesn't even deserve that. It, it doesn't deserve a green screen. What, man? There we go. It doesn't deserve to have clips edited in. This movie sucked. This movie was bad. The acting. The acting was horrible. It was no emotion. Completely wooden. <clears throat> I honestly feel like there were people behind the cameras holding up cue cards with the actors and actresses lines on them and they were just reading off of them. Oh no, he's lost in the woods. I found his phone. Maybe we should go look for him. Don't bother because no one cares. <laughs> the acting was absolutely horrible. The musical score didn't fit with the movie at all. It made absolutely it made it just goofy as shit. Excuse my language. It made it goofy as hell. It didn't fit at all. It, you know, the the real crime in this is the killer actually looked like a badass. But the movie was just so bad. And then things were happening in the movie that you had... You're like, why is this happening? How did that happen? We get to a part where there's four friends together. They're camping. They wake up in the morning. Two of them are missing. We found out the killer grabbed them, so I'm like, how did he grab these two when they're all camping together the other two didn't notice? It's like they're, they're wondering where they are, and all of a sudden we cut to some kind of shack or something, and he's got them chained up, and you hear screams in the background, and then he starts torturing one of them with different tools and whatnot. It was just so stupid, and the story of the killer himself, he was an evil farmer. Uh, basically, he heard voices coming from his scarecrow, like voices of little children, and apparently that was enough to drive him insane. So he chops his wife a couple times in the stomach with an axe, <clears throat> and as she's laying there, still alive, he pulls her guts out and starts eating her. He starts eating her guts while she's eating her alive. And his little daughter witnesses the whole thing, so he starts laughing like Yodo, ho, 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 chop you up, I will grabs his daughter and he puts her head on a log 
like he's gonna be header and the next thing you know you see him smiling real hard like like snorting and laughing bringing the axe down on her a couple times so one minute she's with her head on on the, on the wood like she's about to be beheaded next thing you know he's chopping her in the stomach then they say he, he hangs himself, but then his grave was empty. At that point, I couldn't care if he hung himself, drowned himself, blew himself up as long as he was gone and took the rest of the cast with him. Uh, the cast was not likable at all. Uh, once again, I found myself hoping they would all die. I don't know how the movie ended, but I hope they all suffered horribly. I hope they had the most excruciating, painful deaths you can ever hope for in cinema. This movie sucked, man. I was really excited to watch this. And within the first five minutes, I kept saying to myself, Jesus Christ, this is gonna, this is gonna suck. This is gonna be bad. And sure enough, I don't even know how long I made it, man. 35, 40 minutes. If it was even that long, I just said, <laughs> I looked at one of my cats, I was like, this is fucking stupid, and I turned it off. So yeah, um, The Redwood Massacre is definitely not recommended. Uh, it's a movie that I will never, ever, ever even attempt to watch again. I do, I do not care how it ended. I don't want to find out how it ended. I just don't care. Uh, th this was a complete waste of a Saturday night. My God, it was awful. Um, th it, it, uh, that's all I could say. It was bad. It sucked. I mean, it, it, it. Uh, gosh. Oh my god. This was on the same level as Secret Santa. And we know how much I enjoyed that film. So yeah. Red Bull Massacre sucked. Didn't finish it. Don't care how it ended. Don't ever want to see it again. Don't ever... Uh, if they make a sequel, I won't be watching. I'll put it that way. So that's going to do it. I have my collection of horror films right here. Um... I have not picked one out for next week, but by the time I get this together, I'll know. And this is going to be a quick edit because I don't have to put any clips in it whatsoever. I don't have to have a green screen up there for long because it doesn't deserve it. It doesn't deserve it at all. So with that being said, man, uh, thank you for watching this week. Sorry it turned out so badly. Sometimes we have stinkers. Tonight, we have the drizzling shits. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next week for another episode of Saturday Night Horror. Y'all have an awesome week. Y'all take care.